in moving into this level of the technology, I think sharing the story of how the teachers are um, coming out of their comfort zone and they are trying things that are new because they know it's what's good for the students. It's very unfair in a technical society to ask you to unplug for seven and a half hours when that's what your future job's going to involve. And so that's kind of been how we've embraced it. Sometimes they still push back and we, you know, we have to, those growing pains, but they see the appreciation of it. And I see the appreciation because that's where it's going. Well, hopefully with having a device on hand for the students, it allows them to troubleshoot some of the things on their own. It's no longer having to wait for a teacher to come around to your desk to look up, well, what does this word mean in this story? I don't understand, I got lost. It's, I don't know what this word means, hang on, let me swipe over and open up a dictionary on my tablet and I can find it. Teachers don't have to be there for you all the time. Um, and they see now that we have iPads um, that they don't, need to give you the step-by-step. Step. They can just sort of let you figure it out for yourself. When they can come in and say, Miss McLean, you can do this. And I'm like, wait, show me that again. And then sometimes it's so good that I'm like, okay, you gotta put it on the airdrop, show everybody. When they teach me, then they're not just getting the material, but they're actually exploring too, and they're being creative. I think every teacher out there has had a student where they've seen that they know the concept and they just can't put it to pencil and paper. So if you have the ability to show in any other way at all, it allows that kid to keep going. A lot of students will shut down if, the, if they know they have to sit down and complete a test or write something out. But if they're able to make a video or draw an animation and show it that way, so that way they're showing that they have the knowledge without necessarily having to do it in the standard way. It allows them to keep going rather than shutting down. I think it's better to show people, um, like, or show teachers what you can do because not everyone has the same, like, uh, like learning, like, they, can, they can't, some people can't, can learn things faster than other people can. So when you show a teacher that you can do something or the way that you can do something, it can, like, teach them, oh, this person has to do it this way, so maybe more kids can do it this way. If you let the kids work it out, they may not have the same steps written down, but they'll come to the same conclusion. They just see it a little bit differently. It's not just the end result, but it's everything along the way that matters.